I never imagined I could live in Ireland, but then when we were trying to find a good country to live, we have like 23 possibilities. And then I started to do research about Ireland, talk to people that came here, and then because of the culture is so different, so nice, I decided that I would choose to live in Ireland. And then it, uh, we need to start to choose the city or the university. Exactly. And then I choose Galway because the city is really beautiful. And the, what made me to choose Galway is because of the university, because the support to receive, like when we were in Brazil, we could ask questions, they answer our questions. And this was very good for us. They give a lot of support. And also when I saw the beautiful buildings, the university has and the subjects that could help a lot of in my career and then because of that I decided to choose a new Galway. We were well prepared, the international office gave us everything we need to know, um, like maps and all the information we need, so I think we were prepared and there was a lot of people a lot of international students, not just Brazilians, but from everywhere. And it was amazing to study here and met people from China and from Spain and from France. And I have made this, not just Irish friends, but other nationalities friends as well. And this was amazing. I also fell in love with the first sight of the Nipgoi. Like I was I had the opportunity to go to Cork or Dublin and Galway, it's the best city in Ireland, <laughs> if I can tell, because it's a really small city with friendly people, the friendliest people I've ever met, and it has an amazing atmosphere and great classes, NYG, like they support me very well and I have everything I can complain about anything, really. I was afraid that they would speak very fast and I wouldn't be able to, to follow the classes. But I could follow the, the classes very well. All the professors um, took, took us our, our questions. Our, they got that we're foreigners and we're, we're supposed to, to, take a, to have a little bit difficult in the beginning of the classes. But with the time we got, we got used to this and the professors helped a lot, a lot during the semesters. We could choose from a big list of options of uh, modules that we wanted to take. So we had this freedom and I enjoyed all the the modules I did here and they were very different from Brazil because some groups was, were very large but others were small. I had the opportunity to take a language course which was Italian and was really nice and also by the end of the year we were given the opportunity of taking research projects which was really nice too and I'm currently doing it and I'm sure it's gonna count a lot for my CV later so I'm involved in a research project with physiology and I've been enjoying it a lot. I think uh, our goal in this program, Science Without Borders, is to return to Brazil with everything that we learned here and try to apply there because uh, you are a bit... Uh, uh, Europe is like more technological in a lot of terms comparing to Brazil, you know. Uh, so I think when we return to Brazil, we can develop not new technologies. Uh, but I think the way that they teach is a way different from the Brazilian one, because I think maybe in Brazil, I'm not sure, I'm not pretty sure it's just in my university, but they are very theoretical, you know. Here I think the lecturers are more practical, you know. And this is interesting because I think the most you practice, the most you you assimilate.